So it's been a whopping 10 years of Marvel films, all leading up to this film, Avengers Infinity War. I was so excited to see this film. I totally went to go see it last night at midnight or early this morning, and I feel I'm still processing the film. I feel like I haven't fully digested the entire film because I just don't even know where to start when I was first thinking about my initial thoughts on the film. Now, I left there really happy, so this is just a quick review of my general thoughts on the film with no spoilers, so you can rest easy that I won't ruin it for you. You can watch this video and just kind of hear my thoughts about it, and then I'll make another video later going more into detail about what I thought about the film, what I really liked, what I didn't like, and obviously going into things that obviously lead more towards spoiler territory. Now obviously Avengers Infinity War is a big deal. I didn't want to get too psyched up about the film because I didn't want to like get my hopes up and get disappointed like X-Men The Last Stand. For most people who don't know much about Marvel Comics or anything about the characters outside the film, you just walk into the film knowing that's going to be an action film with superheroes, then you'll be pleasantly surprised because that's what you get. But if you're a big fan like me and know these characters from cartoons, comic books, everything else besides the MCU, you'll still be really happy with what the Russo Brothers did with the characters. Now, they did such a good job and we have to like give them like props because they're using so many characters in this film. It could have easily been horrible. It's not. It's really, really good. They balance the characters out decently well, actually really well. Now the benefit of Avengers Infinity War is that the Roost Brothers don't have to really set up the characters. They have all these films already set up leading up to Infinity War that has already given us enough backstory for all the main characters in the film They don't all have to waste time setting up too much exposition. Now since all these characters are already set up in the prior films, Avengers Infinity War is able to just get straight into the action and it does. It goes right into it. Thanos is after those Infinity Stones and he is wasting no time. Now, I feel the one critique and the main complaint that people will have about this film, and I kind of have a little, but you know what's because I'm biased that way, is that people's favorite characters don't have enough screen time. Because there's so many characters in Avengers Infinity War, they have to spread it out as evenly as they can. So not every character shines as much as they can because they have to give screen time to this character and this character. Some people might feel a little shafted that their favorite character didn't have as much screen time as so-and-so. But I mean, besides like, you know, obviously the mains like Captain America, Iron Man, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, all the other characters do have enough time and shiny moments. But because people have their favorite characters, they want that specific character to get more screen time. So that's why I feel people will be complaining about that their favorite character didn't get enough screen time. But in reality, with the way they set it up and all the characters that they had to put into this film, well they didn't have to, they wanted to. It still worked and I think they did a very good job. Because again, it could have easily been horrible. Like the Justice League? Now one of the main things that people were really excited about in Avengers Infinity War was characters meeting other characters for the first time. We know Thor is meeting the Guardians of the Galaxy, we know Iron Man's meeting Doctor Strange, and those interactions are priceless. I think everyone's gonna love the interaction between Doctor Strange and Iron Man because I felt that was my favorite. But all these little nuances of these characters meeting each other for the first time and how they work together and how personalities like clash or get along, it's really well done. And everyone's gonna look forward to it and I think they pay it off very well and most people, if not everyone, is gonna be happy with the way the Roost Brothers did that in Avengers Infinity War. Now the film does have a darker tone to it versus all the other Marvel films, but it still has its trademark humor that Marvel is known for. So I did have a couple of laughs definitely in the film, but the darker tone you definitely do feel it. You do sense this hopelessness that the characters are way outmatched. Which brings us to the next point of the villain, Thanos. Now we know the MCU has always had a villain problem, and I think with Thanos they knew that they had to deliver and they do a really good job. You get backstory on Thanos, they flesh him out, they explain why he's doing what he wants to do in this film, and he's a scary villain from the get-go. He is tearing <laughs> up. I think the MCU finally has a villain to be proud of, and I think most people will see why Thanos is so intimidating, and why the Avengers really feel outmatched, and that helps convey the darker tone of the film that, you know, they might lose. You know, we always know that the hero is gonna win, and we probably kind of know that they are gonna win in this film too, but never before in an MCU film have you felt so sure that they might lose. And, yeah, it gets you right here. Now in Avengers Infinity War, all the characters that are in the film really drive the story, and all the action sequences are ridiculously epic. Like, it is an action movie. Like, they did not hold back, and you will all be pleasantly surprised if they deliver. The Roost Brothers know how to convey action, and balance all these characters, especially ones that you know are like more tactical, more like powers, like Scarlet Witch. They do a really good job showcasing all of that. You know, it's not so much like 
X-Men Apocalypse where one person's doing like a little lightning bolt here and then I'm gonna shoot a beam for my eye here and everyone else is just like standing around and there's no like teamwork, it's just always like one person attacking at a time. In Avengers Infinity War, they're all going at it, they're fighting for their lives and you feel it, you see it. The action sequences in this film are amazing! And I'm gonna go see it again on Saturday, so I'm really excited to kind of see all the stuff that I missed already. Finally, Avengers Infinity War has so many shocking moments in the movie. There were literally times where my mouth was just hanging open. I was gasping here, left and right, like, oh my god, Jesus! It was so good. The shocking moments, you won't see them coming. They do a really good job about that. And I really don't know what they're gonna do after this. Like, the ending of the film, with all my knowledge of the comic books and what they did in it already, I don't know what they're gonna do. Like, where do they take this next movie? And that is one of the best parts of Infinity War. Like, you won't see the ending coming, and when you do, you're like, well, what's the next gonna be like? How do the heroes come back from it? So, yeah, go see Avengers Infinity War. It's awesome. I think most people will love it. It's not the most perfect movie. I don't know if it's necessarily my favorite MCU movie, but I think it's still, I'm still in that processing part of it where I'm just kind of like trying to take it in and trying to understand it and not like jump too quickly. I'm like, yes, it's the best thing ever. It's really good. I think people will love it. So go see it, let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and thanks for watching.